As you can see, I'm waiting for NeoForge to load a NeoForge on Minecraft 1.20.4, and I'm gonna teach you how to download and install NeoForge for Minecraft 1.20.4 in this video. Let's get started. The first step is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install NeoForge. This is an in-depth guide with photos and everything that you need to learn how to download and install NeoForge. But if you just wanna follow along the video though, just click on the second link and do what I'm gonna do. I scroll down and click on the download button and that will redirect you to neoforge.net. This is the official website for NeoForge. Once you're here, you're going to click here where it says click here to go to the version list. That'll bring you over here, give it a second for it to load and you're going to select the Minecraft version that you want. In this case, we want the 1.20.4 and we're going to select the most recent version of the Neo version, right? So we're selecting the Minecraft version and then the Neo version. We're gonna choose the latest for both of them and then we're gonna click download on this little arrow right here. If you're looking for a different Minecraft version, maybe you're watching this in the future, but you still want the 1.20.4, you could always scroll down and find it. Go ahead and click download once you have your Minecraft version. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for most of you, it's just going to download automatically. Once you have that file downloaded, and I'm actually gonna make this smaller, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Oh my God, this is huge. There we go. So now that we have the file, well, it's actually still downloading the NeoForge installer. We're gonna wait for that to finish installing and we're gonna drag and drop it into our desktop, just like so. Now that we have the jar file to install NeoForge, the next step is to actually right click it. We're gonna select it and right click it. And we're gonna click open with, and we're going to choose Java. We need to launch it with Java. Now, when you try to launch NeoForge, if you don't see Java in there or it doesn't open up, you could always install Java real quick. And I'm actually gonna leave the guide in the description. So if you're struggling to open Java, just click on that link in the description to learn how to install Java 17. And I'm also going to leave you a link on how to run a jar fix. You might need to run a jar fix after you install Java to fix those jar files, which NeoForge is one of them, to be able to open them up. Anyways, most of you will probably get NeoForge to open. Once NeoForge has opened, we're gonna click OK after we select the install client, which should actually be selected by default. Go ahead and click OK and wait for NeoForge to install. Now, while NeoForge is installing, what about if you're trying to play NeoForge with friends? What about if you're trying to make a server for Minecraft Java or even Bedrock to play with your friends using mods or maybe adding a mod pack? Well, you could use the first link in the description to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting and they will actually help you make that server with whatever mods you want. You could add NeoForge, you could add Forge, Fabric, any mod loader that you want. And honestly, something that I love about Apex Hosting is that you could access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could control your server even when you're not playing in your computer. I'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25% percent off and let's check on NeoForge. As we can see, NeoForge has finished installing. Now we're going to click OK and we could actually delete the installer. Now to try NeoForge, we're going to open our Minecraft launcher. By the way, you need to keep your Minecraft launcher closed when you're installing NeoForge. I hope it's not too late for that. Um, if you have watched any other video in the past, you know that we always close the Minecraft launcher before installing any mod packs or any mod loader or anything like that. And there we go. If we install NeoForge properly, we should see it selected automatically down here in the bottom left. If that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Another thing you could do in case you don't see NeoForge in here, is click on new installation and where it says version, you're going to look for NeoForge. As you can see, we have it right here, NeoForge beta. You're gonna select that beta and you're gonna name this whatever you want and then click create and that will create an instance of NeoForge for you. This is pretty much how to install NeoForge. If you wanna add mods to NeoForge, all you have to do is the same process as before we would do with Forge or Fabric. We just click on this little folder in here We'll look for the mods folder, which I have it right here. And if you don't have it, you could always just right click and create one. Name it mods. Actually, let me name it mods. There we go. Name it mods. Go ahead and open it up. And you could drag and drop all your mods into here, whatever mod you want to use. Obviously, NeoForge is a new mod loader. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people don't know what's happening. Why is there another mod loader named Forge? Well, all you gotta know is that NeoForge is made by most of the creators of Forge. It's just a different mod loader. And so far, all the mods should be compatible between Forge and NeoForge. However, in the future, that might change and the mods might not be compatible with each other anymore. So yeah, as of right now, you could download any mod for Forge and it's still added to NeoForge, but in the future, that might change. We're still gonna go ahead and try NeoForge by clicking on play, clicking that you understand the risk and then waiting for it to open. And as we can see, NeoForge is loading and now we're in the game. And as you can see, it says NeoForge right here. This is a beta, so this is not the full version of NeoForge. But hey, those of us that use Forge, we're already used to being in beta the whole time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. And as always, bye-bye.